morning. And I want to thank everyone for joining us outside the offices of Scott Vasa, our South Carolina Coalition Against Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault. Uh, I don't want to take up too much time here uh, at, the, at the podium. Um, the most informative perspe perspective of Scott Vasa's uh, mission to advance advocacy, uh, education, and collaboration to bring safety, uh, comfort, and counseling to survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault will come from our Executive Director, Sarah Barber. Ultimately, uh, the work of Ms. Barber, her incredible staff, uh, and their collaborative statewide network is to make South Carolina altogether free from domestic violence and sexual assault. The Work Coalition is a crucial part of the very name of Scott Vasa uh, because it speaks to the need for partnerships and collaborations uh, to improve outcomes and the well-being and safety of survivors. Scott Vasa works closely with organizations and individuals across our state to provide much needed services to victims and survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault to highlight the crucial nature of these collaborations and continued advocacy and further their collaborative efforts at Vasa um, uh, has this wonderful partnership uh, with RING uh, that we're announcing today. It's going to go far, very far in providing additional security and comfort uh, to our state's victims and survivors and hopefully prevent more victimization. Uh, I want to thank uh, Leila Ruhi, the president of RING, and Joe Nolan, uh, Amazon's uh, regional uh, policy manager for their work and their incredible generosity in making this donation uh, possible. But the, the reality is that uh, there's so many good people uh, had worked all across this community for, for years uh, fighting the fight and, and we see that manifested in the great work and success of, 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 of Scott Vasa on Desara's uh, leadership. I did ask Councilwoman Tanika Devine, who's been leading the fight here in Columbia and from Columbia City Council for several years, uh, leading the mayor's uh, campaign on um, domestic violence um, uh, every single year. And I thought it was important that she be here to, uh, to recognize her good work uh, in that space. Uh, and I want to, uh, before I introduce Sara, I, I, I just want to thank Amazon and I want to thank uh, Rain. We live in a world that's changing so fast uh, right now. The, uh, uh, the power of automation, AI, advanced machine learning has, has fundamentally changed the way we live as we awake from the greatest pandemic. Um, certainly in, in over 100 years, the world is changing so rapidly. And for one of the um, most rec recognizable, most successful uh, companies uh, that the world's ever seen uh, to not think of robbery, to invest in this community, to invest uh, in our people, to invest in protecting uh, those that would be victimized by those who would do them harm. It's a big deal. And I just want to say thank you to Amazon, say thank you to, 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 to Ring. Uh, and it's my uh, pleasure now uh, to introduce uh, Sarah Barber, the Executive Director of Skadvasa, to hear her valuable insights. Thank you, God bless you. Domestic Violence Awareness Month, we tend to stand before you with grim news, and this year we've done the same thing. The Violence Policy Center report released a couple of weeks ago recorded 57 South Carolina women who were killed by men, the vast majority by intimate partners, a rate that puts us sick as the most dangerous state in the country. Each year, our member organizations are overwhelmed with requests for help. Over 40,000 South Carolinians in 2019 who needed emergency shelter, hospital accompaniment, or other services to help them through terrifying times. So it feels good for us today, in the middle of this October, to stand before you to launch an initiative that will provide additional safety tools to survivors of domestic and sexual violence. Brings donation of up to 1,000 devices, 4,000 security cameras, will provide an additional tangible way for advocates to work as they develop with individual, as they develop safety plans with individual survivors on a case-by-case -case basis. Tools such as this can be a tremendous resource in terms of safety planning and provide added comfort for survivors who are experiencing heightened safety concerns or those who are in fear of repeated harassment or stalking. 
Initially, we will be distributing devices to 10 of our member organizations throughout South Carolina and to two culturally specific organizations who serve black and African American survivors and native and indigenous survivors. All of these organizations work closely and directly with individuals to assess their unique needs and whether one of these devices will amplify their safety. We look forward to hearing from them how this initiative has helped them to make a positive difference in their clients' paths to healing. This initiative, as the mayor had spoke to, highlight, highlights the power of collaboration to build safety communities, safer communities, and to support survivors. This is not something that advocates can do alone. To create peace in our homes and communities, we must recognize what is our peace to contribute. We are deeply appreciative to the team at Ring and the Amazon, and to Mayor Benjamin Zalkis for being such proactive and supportive partners and look forward to continued collaborations with them as we work together to build on the hope that South Carolina citizens can look to a brighter future where homes are places of safety rather than of fear. And so with that, with deep gratitude, I'm going to hand this over to Joe Nolan, the Regional Policy Manager for Amazon. Thank you, Mayor, and good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Mayor Benjamin, to the team here at Skibasso for having me today. It's an honor to uh, represent Ring and Amazon. My name is Joe Nolan. I am a regional policy manager for Amazon. First and foremost, I want to express the Ring team's gratitude for the invitation to attend and the privilege of learning about this team and, and your organization's incredible work. I know the Ring team, and especially their president, Leela, look forward to continuing the dialogue advancing Skibasso's mission. I'm particularly honored to be on site during Domestic Violence Awareness Month and to learn more about the comprehensive services Gabasa supports and advocates for to address every survivor's unique needs. And I know, Mayor Benjamin, we are extremely dedicated to your, your work in building a South Carolina that is free from domestic and sexual violence. And on a personal note, my mom is a survivor, so I'm also pleased to be here from that perspective as well. Skibasa's work spans both advocacy and prevention efforts across the state. In addition to supporting member organizations and helping survivors overcome the obstacles they face with safety planning on a case-by-case -case basis. Skibasa and its member organizations directly support survivors and their families and communities across the state. And we've learned how RING devices can supplement these ways organizations work to increase the safety of victims. As an expert organization, we know Skibasa will use RING's device donation to share how, supplement, how to supplement the safety tools available to respond to different survivor needs. The Ring Team believes in making neighborhoods safer for everyone and works to bring peace of mind to all members of a community. We know every survivor has a different story and different safety needs and hope that this donation helps make a difference for individuals and families throughout South Carolina. But we also know this is just one of many ways Skidvasa staff and advocates can support survivors. Because we want to further extend Skidvasa's positive impact in the community and ability to represent the needs of survivors, Ring is also announcing a $20,000 donation to the organization. We have Scott here with a big check. Thank you, Scott. We are proud to support Skibasa in advancing their mission and commitment to building a stronger and safer communities and look forward to learning more from your team. We appreciate the opportunity to attend an event that brings community stakeholders together and reflects our shared belief in the value of collaboration to create change, as well as to raise awareness for Skibasa's pivotal voice in representing the needs of survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault every day. Thank you. WIS many moons ago, 20 years ago, uh, uh, and now works with uh, Joe. Talk about this partnership, and, and again, it, it's 
I think it's, it's so important that we can find ways to use technology as a force multiplier to create safer and healthier communities. Uh, there have been folks who have been laboring in the vineyards for years uh, to, to, to make this happen. And I think this is a testament to Council of Divine, Sara, and the whole team, a testament uh, to that work. And, I, and a, a, another, just a, a, a huge thanks to Amazon and, 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 and Ring uh, for their generosity. It's going to make this community safer, it's going to make our people healthier and stronger. And, and we're just thankful. Thank you.